With the summer of The Sims behind us, The Sims 4 Cottage Living expansion pack out, and news that the roadmap for the next half of 2021 will include a refresh update of an existing pack, much is unknown about what other packs will come for The Sims 4 this year. And while many, myself included, wish the schedule would just slow down for a little bit, I have no doubt we will be getting more packs. And while many are hoping for generations and maybe an occult pack, we all know that The Sims team likes to surprise us here and there with some very unexpected packs. And now I've gathered clues that could possibly hint to a royalty pack of some sort sometime in The Sims 4's future. Before we go ahead and get started, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos. My question for you today is, would you want a royalty pack for Sims 4? And what is a wild speculation that you have for a pack that could come to Sims 4? Now, as a caveat, as always, this is just speculation, though I am going to be using real clues found both from Sims Mobile and The Sims 4. This is not to be taken as confirmation that we're going to be getting royalty coming to The Sims 4, and I honestly think it would still be pretty wild, but let's be honest, far stranger packs have happened in The Sims 4's lifetime. So in my personal opinion, a royalty pack would actually be much better as a spin-off game rather than in Sims 4, something like how they did with Sims Medieval. It could allow them to give it more detail and depth and really integrate better than it would in the world of The Sims 4 as it is. You could really do a lot with that. But regardless of my personal preference, let's go into those hints as to why I think it is possible that we could get a royalty expansion or game pack in The Sims 4. So I first actually thought of this idea, I was just browsing for Sims mobile page because I was just trying to think of what was going on with Sims development since it's been pretty quiet lately. But if you didn't know, Sims mobile actually tends to get content that sort of mimics some of the themes we have in Sims 4, some of the expansions. So as you can see, for instance, this game obviously has some content that features celebrities like Get Famous and some features that kind of echo ego lifestyle. So with that in mind, it's not a huge stretch to say that a general theme that appears in Sims Mobile could make its way to Sims 4 and of course vice versa. And as you can see here, they did in fact have a royalty theme a while ago. Now this is Sims Mobile, so it's not the equivalent of a full royalty pack or gameplay, but I still think it's very interesting that this appeared in Sims Mobile and it's one of the few themes, I should say, that didn't really quite make its way to The Sims 4 yet. Now if you think that's a weak clue, maybe it is. But then I actually went ahead and took a look back at some of those item descriptions from, believe it or not, Sims 4 Get Famous. Now, in case you didn't know, the Sims team does oddly actually add hints to item descriptions. They've hinted for countless packs in previous item descriptions. We can actually see that the first item description here from Get Famous is in fact a nod to both llamas and chickens we would end up getting in Sims 4 Cottage Living. That's really honestly wild for me to think about, especially since it was so long ago, but it does seem very deliberate. And you have to figure that packs do take a very long time to develop from first coming up with the ideas to actually developing them and then getting them out there. So I do think it's possible that item descriptions from older packs might be good to look at for hints for newer packs. Now the oddest thing about the items that I think are hinting towards a royalty pack is that there's this running storyline about a certain queen. This is not one item, not two items, but actually a total of at least eight items I might have missed one. And that's of course excluding other references to opulent lifestyles and of course something like the toilet being referred to as a throne, which of course is a very weak hint because we know a lot of people do talk about toilets as thrones. Of course, I could say, yeah, maybe it's just about celebrities and they're saying they're royalty because they're so well known, but the level of detail here does seem to be more than a coincidence. The bed refers to a kingdom. One of the chairs discusses a 12 course meal. Can you imagine sitting through a 12 course meal? I certainly couldn't. The love seat discusses family portraits, the year of the queen's reign, and some precious gems. And for some reason, there's this reoccurring feather reference, but I admit, I don't really know what to do with that. I feel like that could just not really mean much of anything. So I actually will leave the link to the item descriptions if you don't feel like scrolling for your game and you want to see it for yourself or if you don't own Get Famous. Of course, I didn't feel the need to read through every single item description. I just wanted to kind of highlight what I noticed. Again, a running theme about this queen, her reign, the length of her reign, the different things she did the different ways she lived her life. I understand for some people this might seem like a stretch, but to me, 
it seems really odd that they went into this level of detail that it doesn't mean anything at all. So while I love speculation, I know not everybody does, but I want to say what I love most about speculation isn't trying to be right all the time or getting what I want. It's more like a mystery to solve for me, and I think it's really fun to just brainstorm and consider all the different things this crazy game could do. It's not that I personally want a royalty pack, to be honest. Again, my preference would be if they do something like that, that it would actually be its own spin-off game. I just don't think it would be done very well or with justice in the Sims 4 universe, and I do think there is content that personally is a little bit more needed before a royalty pack. But if you are craving royalty content, there actually is a royalty mod for Sims 4 if you didn't know about it came out a while ago. And I must also mention Mira Ray. So Mira Ray is a fantastic YouTube content creator, and she has a very long, detailed, and engrossing series of Let's Plays about royal families. Even if you're not into Let's Plays, I definitely, definitely recommend you check them out. She's also just a great person overall, so please do check out her content. I will try to leave that link in the description as well. But as always, I would love to hear your thoughts about my crazy speculations. Do you think it's possible we will ever get a royalty pack? Did you even want a royalty pack? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!